Okay, we're here on the uh, Rio Mobile Home Buster. This is Rio's first ever Mobile Home Buster. And Dr. Ebb is uh, talking to everyone about what's going on. And I'm gonna have John here in a minute tell you a little bit. We've got a group of people out. And in the mobile home. Real quick, too, John. John had a great idea when we came in. I wanted him to tell you about this. This was a cool okay. thought. Now, here, look at that little um, storage unit over there. A neat kind of a storage unit. Now, to get a storage unit at one of those rental uh, places, rental places costs about two hundred, hundred and eighty to two hundred dollars a month for that size or a little bit bigger. So I'm going. If we would go to our tenants or buyers as they buy a mobile home and say, hey, you want to rent a unit for 150 or if you'd like, it might be simpler, it will come and bring one on your property so you don't have to go to this storage unit and have all your stuff nearby and we'll rent it to you for only 100 bucks a month. So would people that had to have a storage unit anyway, would that be advantageous to them to have it nearby? You just increased your yield 33% on the 325 or 350 units. Does that make sense? So, there's all, so as we're room. talking about all oh. the deals beyond the deals beyond the deals, uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Jeff, what did you say? Why can't you just rent it as another room? That's possible. We just pop go. a hole right there. <laughs> the mother-in-law suite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guest house. I like that idea as a rental. I don't come up here every time the show is thing. People call us, they come to the door, we give them the code, and then we have them call us again when they leave. And then it's in the park, so we feel pretty secure. Uh, the owner looks after our property pretty close. Uh, we got, like I said, a good relationship with the manager. If the manager sells it for us, we actually pay him a commission too, so wow. it, it's worked out real well for us. This mobile home park trailer next to us, somebody just renovated that one, sold it. Unfortunately, there was a dead person in that one, so. That's not good for people in the park all know when somebody dies the trailer and it doesn't help your sales. Well, you could say people are dying to get in our mobile homes. <laughs> That's Anyways, right. Come on inside and see. <clears throat> the color scheme, as you'll see, we use the same carpet paint on every single mobile home. So, you don't have to use any thought. I like how they put the uh, full tape around the edges to seal things up better. That is the uh, full tape that you use on air conditioning ducts and that helps seal them up a little bit better. So that's a neat little tip. I use them actually on my signs when I'm marketing to seal off the cardboard edges so they can withstand the weather a little longer. Nice, Ed. Yep. This is a two bedroom, one bath. And you gotta think about it, for $325 a month, plus it's $260, uh, $262 lot rent, you can't get an apartment for that. Say that again, it's how much again? We're selling it for $325 a month, and the lot rent's about $262. So even your sales techniques are really not going to mention a overall price. Just going to mention mainly a monthly price. Yeah. Okay. Is there when you when you sell it, do you get a down payment for it? Yeah, we get for this. We'll get twelve hundred dollars down. That's why I said there's by the time you sell it, you have so little bit into it that it makes sense. Do you give any statistics like days on the market or how long do you usually take? Uh, in the park, it takes. About two to three months to sell one. So that's about average. You know, if you came in here blindfolded, you really wouldn't know. Have you How many units are in this park? I think there's a hundred and